And as Fulton County Schools get back in the groove, back in the action again, educators are telling us they are seeing an increase in behavioral issues with students. 11 Alive's Molly Oak walks us through new efforts to help both students and teachers. Back to class and back to the structure that comes with it in Fulton County. We definitely seen an increase. Like classrooms across the nation, they've seen issues with student behavior and say all the back and forth with COVID is likely to blame. Not having those structures in place and those transit, those in critical transition periods that need to happen um, when you're moving from one um, level to the next. We've also seen um, students who are struggling with um, just managing um, their own behavior because in that self-regulation piece because they were not necessarily socialized for a year or two um, post COVID. According to the governor's Office of Student Achievement, Fulton County had about 96,000 students enrolled in 2021 and more than 2,900 discipline incidents for the school year. Nearly 29% ended with in school suspension, while 36% resulted in out of school suspension. The office reports less than 1% ended with a student getting expelled. Fulton County Principal Dr. Ethel Lett says the district has a handful of ways they're working to help students, like an app to let staff know if a student isn't having a good day. It sends all of those support personnel a message that says, hey, Ethel isn't having a great day today. She's feeling sad. She's feeling lonely. She's feeling angry. That support personnel includes behavior specialists. They actually are experts and support schools in coaching guidance around restorative practices, behavior, um, positive behavior intervention supports, um, as well as classroom management. Maribel Villanueva Bell is the director of student discipline prevention and intervention and a former behavior specialist. She says along with helping students, the behavior specialists also help teachers and staff. These individuals act as thought partners um, in around applying the code of conduct um, and appropriate discipline responses. We've had to do a lot more around helping our staff navigate trauma. The one thing that I think people tend to forget is that COVID didn't just impact students, it impacted our teachers and staff as well. Which is why the district uses a lot of the same support for both students and staff. Because in our building, we're one big family. And because we're one big family, we're navigating what to do when a family member may be ill or what to do when a family member may not be feeling their best. Making sure everyone has the tools to feel good and succeed in the school year.